Hi Taurus, welcome back to the channel. Lisa here with Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your mid-September uh, reading. We're going to see what energy comes through here for you in love. So with that, let's just get started. As always, let me know in the comments what you're trying to manifest in love. Be specific, be positive, so that energy comes back to you as the universe is always listening. So with that, let's get started. Let's see what the energy is here for Taurus for mid-September. They said Taurus, oh boy, too many there. I leave that first card that came out. Please show Taurus what they need to know. of the deck. All right. So I definitely get a strong energy of you really being guided by spirit right now. You're going through some sort of transition, I feel, in your life, and it may be a transformation it may be a transition from a relationship it could be just in general you may be transitioning or making changes in your life so you have number 32 which is five fives for me it can be about change transition you also have here walking away number 27 which is nine i feel a lot of you may be walking away from a past relationship or connection um, or you may just be in search of something more satisfying, okay, if you are dealing with a particular particular person. Uh, because I see here you have adjacent possibilities. This is number 24, which is six. Six is for me are around peace and harmony. And I always call this the trap door. So that could tell me either there is a specific person there's a pattern with this person and you're just not feeling satisfied maybe feeling it's stagnant others it could also tell me that maybe you you have been attracting the same type of person in your life okay and that's the transition here i'm seeing but this is this is a pattern this could be an old pattern this could also be falling into a trap uh, if somebody shows up, but you have other possibilities. So it shows me you have more than one possibility here. And it's also about making healthy choices when it comes to your love life, right? For your happiness, for your peace and joy. But what I love here is blossoming abundance. It's a number three. This tells me that there's the birth of something new that's about to happen in your life. Okay, so it tells me you're going to have some possibilities. Maybe you have to weed through them to find the right person. Right, but let's uh, see what your tarot has to say. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with Taurus for mid-September? Please share with Taurus what they need to know. Oh, two cards dropped out there. One more all right so I tried to put these in order okay well you do have the tower on the bottom of the deck it feels like something unexpected is about to happen now, you do have the Knight of Wands, and you also have here the Page of Swords. So it does feel like there is somebody that is very curious about you. Maybe they're watching you, watching you from afar. The Knight of Wands, we'll have to clarify this Knight of Wands. Sometimes the Knight of Wands gets a bad rap. It's not always the inconsistent person or the hot and cold person. I feel, you know, it can also be your next lover, somebody who is very excited or very curious about you. So we're going to clarify this Knight of Wands first. 
Could be a fire sign, could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. So let me just get a couple shuffles here. I already did some pre-shuffle, but let's see. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Thank you, Spirit. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Hmm. Okay, Knight of Swords. So it is somebody, okay, I feel like this is somebody from your past. Maybe that's why Spirit is trying to guide you at this time. Right? You remember I talked about that trapdoor. Does feel like this is somebody who is not consistent. Okay, so it was not a new lover. Page of Swords. Uh, someone's coming back around to try and fix things with you uh, because we do have the judgment here. And your energy, Taurus, with the Hierophant. This is somebody who's going to try to rekindle the passion between the two of you or the relationship. You do have the Four of Cups. So somebody's coming back around because they feel that they could miss an opportunity with you. Now, this could also be somebody that you felt rejected you. That can be that energy as well. I don't know why, but... It's almost like this person here is hypnotized by this cup, okay? So it may be somebody you have a hard time resisting, but remember Spirit's trying to guide you. Spirit's going to be guiding you through your thoughts and your feelings. So somehow, some way, I feel this person is going to contact you because look here, you have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You have two Knights here. This talks about movement. This is also communication and messages. So I feel you got someone here from your past who's been curious maybe what you're up to, but let's see why the Page of Swords is here. Tell me more about this Page of Swords. Hmm. All right. You have uh, the Nine of Pentacles. Could be another Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You have the Ace of Swords, and you have the Seven of Pentacles. Well, they see you looking good, seeing you very attractive. They want a fresh start. Again, here's communication. So I feel like this person, maybe this is somebody who's been a bit aloof with you or be, being distant with you. Maybe there hasn't been a whole lot of contact. I'm going to say here too, not all of you is it going to be like that ex situation, a breakup. Now this could be somebody you dated like short term or maybe it was a quick thing. So I'm going to say Definitely it could be somebody who just gave you mixed signals, but they've been they've been kind of curious about you or they've been watching you. They see you as attractive. I know I just said that. Taking good care of yourself. Ace of Swords. See again another confirmation there. This someone's getting ready to to reach out to you, and the Seven of Pentacles. I almost get like they've been waiting, like waiting for communication here. Um, Maybe they've been waiting for you to reach out. But I feel, I saw the Three of Wands uh, below that Knight of Swords. I feel like this is somebody who's been waiting for you to reach out to them. And they've been acting distant with you. But they're coming back around, whoever this is. If you know who this is, let me know in the comments. Seven of Pentacles, though. They're very curious here. I feel like the Seven of Pentacles, they're very curious of where you're putting your time. But they also been thinking about you. They've been reflecting on things. All right, let's keep going. You have the Six of Wands and you have the Six of Swords, okay? So it may be this energy that this person is seeing you walk away is what I get here. Because you have the Six of Wands and you have the Six of Swords. I feel like you're moving in a direction of stability in your life. Okay, remember I told you, I feel like in the beginning I said to you, you're going through a transition in your life. And maybe you are walking away from people, places, and things that just don't create stability and security in your life. But like I said, I don't know if I said it already, but the Six of Wands, I feel like you're getting a lot of attention. Six of Swords, right? You're moving towards your victory. I also see this as a relationship card. So some of you may be moving on from this person like I'm looking for that relationship that is satisfying to me. 
So interesting because also too you have the Ten of Cups and you also have here the Sun card. Blossoming Abundance. You have options. You have pots of possibilities. I want to clarify the Six of Wands because I feel like people are noticing you. Got Scorpio energy just flew out here. I hadn't said anything yet. Yeah. See, look, Eight of Cups and the Death Rebirth card here. See, I feel like you're going through a transformation. I feel like you're going through a big change here. I feel like a lot of you may be leaving behind this other situation that ended. Could be a King of Wands. We got a Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. So let's get back to the Six of Wands. Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Mm. See, you have the two of wands here. See, a lot of you may be deciding, right, to take a new path, to move on. Because I feel like something happened with this other person that was just very disappointing to you. Here you are, the Queen of Pentacles. You're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. You have it together, Taurus. And I just feel this other person, they didn't take the opportunity with you when it was there. And I feel like a lot of you are moving on because here's the Eight of Pentacles as well. I feel like you just didn't see the effort from this person. You didn't see the person do what they needed to do. Let's clarify this Ten of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. Why is the Ten of Cups here? But just know this person's very curious about you and I feel like you're going to hear from this person. Scorpio energy again. Hmm. Some of you may still want to work on this connection. And I have to be honest here. It's showing me here. This could be a pattern with this person. And I don't like the energy that I'm seeing here. Because you have here the three of coin. Because this person's going to come back around. They're going to tell you they want to work on things. With that three of pentacles there. Death rebirth card here. Right? They want a new beginning with you. Eight of swords. Five of swords. This person's going to keep you stuck. I feel like this is somebody who... Seven of Swords isn't very honest. Isn't honest. Now maybe they just hide things. But I feel like some of you may get in your head with this person. Because see, this person's walking away, but they're looking back too. And that might be what you're not expecting here with the tower. You also have tower and you have justice. There may be something that this person wasn't honest about. I'm going to say here, this may be an indication that you find out the truth. Because if this is somebody who... You know, some of you, it could be somebody who disappeared. It could be somebody who went silent. Like I said, I feel like this is somebody who want, who was waiting for communication from you. I feel it's because they hid something, not honest about something. Tell me more about the sun card. Star. Yeah, see, this person's going to try and come back around, Taurus. I don't know why they're showing up in your energy, but I feel this is somebody who is going to try to... They don't want to give up, okay? They don't want to give up. 
They want the opportunity. They love your energy, I feel, with the Sun card. This also feels um, they miss your friendship as well. Queen of Cups. I just get this energy like they're going to play on your emotions, the High Priestess. But I just feel like this person could be secretive. You do have the Star card here as well. Aquarius energy. We got Cancer Pisces. I just feel like there's some sort of too emotional struggle with this person. I don't know. I don't know, Taurus. I see you moving on and letting go of this person because I feel like you just didn't see that this person put in what it takes to be in a relationship. Look at this. See, again, I see you disappointed, but I feel like what the universe is telling you is that I feel there's a new offer coming in with this gift energy, and it's from somebody who is mature. So there's a mature person coming into your life. Look at that. It's a number five. I feel like if you are transitioning from a connection that disappointed you the gift here and I would say the gift here too is also that you gain knowledge right you maybe learned a lot about yourself through this connection or what happened but the gift here is is that there's somebody new coming in there's somebody who is mature I don't feel like this person here is mature this even feels like somebody who could have played games with you let's see what else comes through Yeah. See, the person I feel that you thought was the person because you got official person. Now, it could be somebody who is military, ex-military, or they wear an important uniform, or they just hold some important title. 222. Two, two. Could be a twin flame here. This person was false. This wasn't the. This is not the person you were meant to be with. Not in this energy anyway right not with this tower energy it's a very unstable energy you also have your adjudication and courthouse some of you this could be somebody that you divorced or are in legal separation but i feel like this is really i really strongly feel this is you making a judgment call about this person you know about the past this false person too is somebody who just wasn't honest with you secretive like I said and here it is again moving towards your stability moving towards a new path here I see you dating courtship and unexpected and the privileged person there's some sort of new beginning that's coming in for you and you know I almost feel too with this tower there was divine intervention here this didn't work out for a reason See, look, and here's justice. We talked about justice earlier. I really feel, and you got occupation here, and you got main person. So some of you could meet a new person through your work somehow, some way, but uh, this is really about focus to and attention and putting in the work. So I feel like you're going to be meeting somebody new. There's somebody new. You know, I don't know if it's going to be mid-September because I feel like a lot of you are still thinking possibly about this other person making a decision, but it does show me you have, uh, you have other opportunities Okay, so this, this reading will last mid-September through mid-October. Uh, so I feel like you're going to be meeting somebody new during that time. Let's get some guidance because some of you, you are, uh, this person is going to reach out to you. And some of you are going to be making a judgment call. Wow, that flew out there. Yeah, look at that. Chopped wood. It's stagnant energy. And you got the breathe card. That's taking time to yourself. You know, this is also stagnant energy. This is also feeling like, you know, 
unsatisfied. Taking time to yourself for, in a situation where it's chopped wood. It just sits there. It doesn't do anything. It's stagnant. And we got another number six. There, I believe there were quite there were two other sixes here. Six is for me about peace and harmony. This is taking time to yourself, really thinking about your peace and your happiness. Look at yep, there it is. Fork in a road. Fork in a road, a decision. I feel a lot of you are in the process of letting go of a connection here. Making that decision to take a no, a new path, and there it is. Go the distance headed towards your victory is strongly what I'm getting there. And I feel like that's what spirit, spirit here is guiding you to walk away from a connection here that maybe you keep just falling into this pattern with this person, you know, or maybe this person is a lot of drama and, you know, they keep involving you in their drama. So, Taurus, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.